Decades of research into spinal cord injuries may be paying off right now, giving new hope to people all around the world. Researchers in the U.S. say new technology is allowing paralyzed patients to do what was once considered impossible. They are walking. And Michael Serapio has the details and the video to mm -hmm. support these strides. Really quite amazing. In fact, uh, there was one researcher in Minnesota who was describing this as a new era when it comes to uh, spinal injury and, and therapies. And I want to begin here uh, with some video of a 29-year-old by the name of Jared Chinock. Now, he is from Wisconsin. And about four years ago, he lost the use of his legs and sensation in his limbs after being injured in a snowmobile accident. But today, you can see it right here. He's standing on his own with some support he's able to also walk and this is all thanks to the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Here's what they did. Take a look at this animation. Okay. Essentially doctors at the Mayo Heather, they implanted this device into his spine, uh, an electronic stimul stimulator. Uh, it was just below the injury site and this implant stimulated the nerves and that is what's allowing for mobility and sensation again and certainly not without a lot of effort though because it's more than just this implant. It also took hours and hours upon therapy, about 43 weeks in his case. But we should also say as we take a look at some other videos here that it's not just the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota that's heralded success because the University of Louisville in Kentucky has also been conducting its own research into the same technology. So separate research, and they've had some notable successes, one of which is Kelly Thomas, who you're seeing here. You saw her right off the top uh, initially after her car accident that robbed her of mobility, but she's now standing on her own. She's now also walking on her own, uh, ecstatic about this new technology. And take a look at, at her demonstration as to how it actually applies to her. Your stimulator is off right now. Correct. Can you move your legs? I can't. Now let's see you turn it on. With this setting that I have selected, I can move my leg. That's amazing. Amazing. Wow. She couldn't move before. She could not move before, but mm. she turns on the stimulator. She With can. her she own can brain waves. Exactly. She can, can control her movements. And here's how uh, a researcher at Louisville, Kentucky put it. Uh, essentially, it's not this electronic device reconnecting a severed spine with the brain. Essentially, they have basically say the technology shows that the circuitry in your spine alone is very complex, much like it's the brain circuitry being complex. And in using this technology, they're essentially teaching people how to walk again, to uh, make themselves walk again on their own in a different way, not through the, the connection that we all talk about brain to spine, but a whole different way using the spine and the simulation.